Hello, Calvary. Thanks for joining me for your word for the day. I've got to get this off my chest. Or, you won't believe what she said to me. Or, this day has just gone from bad to worse. These phrases are often followed by a list of complaints. I know that I've said things like this, and you probably have too. Complaining sometimes come, becomes just as habitual as breathing. Paul warns us in Philippians 2.14 about this captivating sin. In there he wrote, do all things without grumbling or disputing. All things. Wow. I mean, this means that I don't get to complain about my job, my kids, my wife, my parents, my in-laws, my government, or my church. Everything we do and say is to be done without complaining. But why? What difference does it make? Well, Paul makes it clear in the verses that follow. Listen to what it says, Philippians 2, 14 through 15. So do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. When we live a life without complaining, it shows us to be blameless in the midst of a society that is rebelling against God. It helps us to shine the light of Jesus in a dark world. Jesus is best represented when we have joy, love, and thankfulness in all circumstances. He's shown to be our good shepherd when we patiently and faithfully walk through a trial without grumbling. This will be different from the world. The world has no way to sustain thankfulness during a difficulty, but we do. We know Jesus and we know he's got us in his hand. Let's remember that we are always in the care of a loving Heavenly Father. Let's live today without complaint, put on thankfulness, put on joy and love in whatever faces you. And by doing this, we will be lights pointing to the goodness of Jesus. Make it a joyful day.